So the city of Tempe is celebrating its 150th birthday. This morning, we're looking back on the city's rich past from old amusement parks to ASU's beginnings and even cattle drives. Yeah, all of the historic events making Tempe what it is today. Team 12's Jen Wall joins us live from the Tempe History Museum where there's a free exhibit that anyone can check out. Right, Jen? You got it. Good morning to you guys. Plus, there's a really big event coming up on Sunday. So we're celebrating Tempe's 150th birthday, and this is kind of a sneak peek of what you can expect here at the museum. If you're not going to want to wait until Sunday, you can come check out an exhibit that they have, and then the big party kicks off at noon this weekend. Joining me live now is Brenda Abney, a museum manager. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going to be happening at Tempe Beach Park on Sunday. Tempe Beach Park is going to be the place to be because we have two stages of live music and the music is actually part of Tempe's history. I mean we have the Me Puppets coming but in, in addition Hans Olsen, Walt Richardson, Sandra Bassett, there's just a lot of favorites and in all of the booths that are at Tempe 150 are going to have some element of history that you can learn a little nugget about what's what happened in the last 150 years in our community. So that. Yeah, I, I encourage people to come out because we're going to have hands-on activities, stuff for kids, stuff for grown-ups. We have a little beer and wine garden, as well as reenactors, actors from the Wild West. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Sounds like you guys have everything planned. So, oh, we have some folks with us this morning from way back when. Jake and Jane, how's it going? You're going to be out there on Sunday. You've come back from the past. We'll be there all day Sunday. So, so what can you tell us about, you know, coming back from the late past to now, 2021? Well, it's been quite a few changes since uh, the 18, uh, gosh, what, what, 1871, I believe that would be. You know, been a lot of changes we've seen out here. Absolutely, and it continues to change. Tempe growing like crazy. All right, we have Tempe connected. So if you want to know about your past, you can get some questions answered this weekend, right? Yes, our group Connected Tempe has captured everyone who lived in Tempe in the early days into an online family tree so everyone who lives now can find out how they're connected. And we have an app, all you have to do is go here. And for my grandma, she's related to Charles Tobel Hayden. Oh, wow. who started the ferry. She's related to Grady Gamage. So now when we, we, we drive by Gamage, we know that's our cousin. You know, And everyone here watching your news can come to our booth and find out the same thing. We'll have games, we'll have prizes, all kinds of fun things to find out how you're related. And everyone has a story. So. Awesome, an amazing family history. Thank you. And you guys can see here, before we send it back to the anchors, there's even a few pieces of the old legend city right here at the Tempe oh, History that? Museum. You have one of the uniforms plus one of the animatronic dogs. Guys, there's so many fun things to check out. You know, we were saying earlier that it was like Disneyland in the desert. I mean, doesn't this remind you of like Pirates of the Caribbean or something? Totally. That dog. The dog is a good look. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was. I wish it was working. I thought I was just gonna say. I wish there was like a button so we could actually see what it really it's was. It's a like. little menacing. It's frightening, but it's a part of history. It is <laughs> historic. And we appreciate the look. Wait, give me that power suit.